Simultus Functional Training Part 5 Inserting models of mechanical elements into the 3D visualization The 3D view displays the fixed coordinate system of the space in which the model of our device is located. It starts at a point with 0, 0, 0 coordinates. Its axes are marked with different colors. The x-axis is marked in red. The y-axis is green. And the z-axis appears blue. The axes always extend till the boundaries of the project area, which is marked with a black frame. The size of this area can be adjusted to our needs using the Options menu, which is available in the top navigation bar. The scope of the project area can be set for each axis separately. Its definition is important when we use the mechanical collision function in our project for solids that move freely. They may not move outside this area. After entering the new values, confirm the changes by pressing the button. We can hide the frame of the project area. Using the STL Import button on the left side of the 3D visualization window, we can insert models of our device's mechanical elements into our project. Only models saved in the STL format can be imported into the program. In the next part of the course, we will show you how to convert other file formats to STL format. Let's adjust the design area to the size of the model. Let's set the values in the x-axis from 200 to 200. and the y-axis from negative 200 to 1700. And in the z-axis from 0 to 500 mm. The list of imported solids appeared in the window in the lower left corner of the screen. After clicking on the elements of this list, the corresponding solids will be highlighted in the 3D view. The selected element turns orange and a yellow frame appears around it. Meanwhile, other elements become opaque. This makes the selected element easy to locate, especially when our design contains many components. In addition, the screen also displays the solid's coordinate system, visible in the form of three crossed sections. After importing, the elements are placed in the position in which they were created in their original model. After selecting the element, its properties window will appear on the right side of the screen. We can change the name of the element and its position there. The solid can be moved or rotated on each axis. In space, each solid has six degrees of freedom. Therefore, it can be moved in the X, Y, or Z axis, and rotate it around the X, Y, and the z-axis as well, 
per Euler's angles definition. Enter new values with the keyboard. Select the given value and change it with the scroll wheel. Or increment it by 1 mm or degree with the use of the small buttons to the right side of the editing windows. The vector 000 button is used to move the model to the beginning of the coordinate system with which the given solid is associated. In this case, it will be the beginning of the main coordinate system. If we use the solid as an object with physics in our project, we can determine its mass. Air resistance and the material it is made of. Each of the materials has different physical properties. Below the material, we can change the color of the solid. By default, the solid's collision is turned off, but under the color selection window, we can set the shape of the collider associated with our solid. The calculations related to the collision of solids put a heavy load on the computer's processor, so we can create a simplified collider that works for solids with uncomplicated shapes. We can also create an exact collider, bearing in mind that it will affect the speed of calculating the behavior of our model. For solids with sphere-like shapes, it is worth setting a spherical collider, as this type of the collider does not burden the processor so much. 3D models of our device must be prepared in advance in the CAD program or downloaded from the website of the device's manufacturer. Please note that there is a CAD 3D button at the top of the screen. Below, there is a shortcut to the website with ready CAD models. In the next part of the training, we will show you how to quickly download a ready 3D model using the wizards on the manufacturer's websites. And then, if necessary, convert it to STL format. It can be, for example, the model we show in the project presented on the screen. We invite you to the next part of this training.